Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So in this video, I will be sharing few effective solution to fix Roblox not launching on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. I found some best solution because I had some problem in last few weeks or I can say in last few months and I tried all these method and fortunately all these method work for me and that what I will be sharing today with you. So the very first thing that I would recommend you that try disabling the fast startup from your windows power plan and after that restart the computer how you need to do that click on your windows search type power cfg.cpl just type the simple command and hit the enter key then you will be getting this kind of power plan here so now here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on choose what the power button do click on it and here in the shutdown setting you find an option turn on fast startup this help start your PC faster after shutting down. Now basically what happened when you enable this option and when you shut down your computer, it doesn't get shut down completely. And if there is any problem in the background, in the static, that will remain and your problem will not be fixed. So what you have to do, click change setting that are currently unavailable. And then you need to uncheck this option, turn on fast startup and click on save changes. Now once you have done this, go ahead and restart the computer and check back if the issue has been fixed or not. But in case the Roblox is still not coming up, it's not launching. The next, right click on the Windows icon. Then you have to click on Run. And in the Run box, you have to type percent local app data and percent again. Click on OK. And here you have to look for a folder by the name Roblox. Once you get it, double click on it. Then you have to look for a folder by the name versions. Double click on it. Again, you have to look for a folder by the name version. Now here you have to scroll down and you will find Roblox player launcher .exe. Now here you can make a double click on it and see if the Roblox player launch this time or not. But in case if this method also doesn't work, then probably uh, your entire virus or your Windows firewall is blocking any kind of Roblox file. So for that, what you can do, you can temporarily disable the entire virus program that can be your Windows security, that can be any kind of third party entire virus. So if you're using any third party entire virus like Norton or McAfee, then you can click on the arrow icon at the right hand corner. Then you will find your entire virus icon here. You have to make a right click on it and click on quit or exit. If you're using the Windows security, then you can click on your Windows search. Type virus and in the suggestion you will be getting virus and threat protection. Click on it. Then from virus and threat protection settings, you have to click on manage settings and disable the real time protection. Cloud delivered protection and the tamper protection. Now once you have disabled them, you can check back again by relaunching the Roblox player and see whether it fixed the problem or not. Additionally, what else you have to do, you need to click on your Windows search, type allow an app. In this suggestion, you will be getting allow an app through Windows Firewall. You have to click on it. And there you have to look for the Roblox application. In case if you don't find it, then you have to click on change settings. Click on allow another app. Now you have to locate to the location of the Roblox. So in order to find out the location, the path, click on your Windows search, type Roblox. You will be getting the Roblox player. Right click on it, click open file location. Again, right click on the Roblox player, click open file location. And now you can copy this path. Go back, click on browse, paste the path at the top, hit the enter key. Select Roblox Player Launcher.exe. Click on Open. Click on Add. Now, once it's been added, you need to make sure that this private and the public option are being checked. Then finally, click on OK. Now, go ahead and restart the computer again and check back if this time the Roblox is launching up or not. But in case if you still have the problem, and the Roblox is not launching, then finally, you have to completely remove the Roblox player from your Windows 10 or 11 and reinstall it back. Now, when I talk about completely, then you have to remove from the registry and from the C drive and that you can do easily using a third party uninstaller like the Revo uninstaller. So bring up any of your favorite browser and you have to search for 
Revo uninstaller or you can also use the Vice uninstaller. I already have the Revo and I believe most of the people are using it. So I will go with the Vice program uninstaller. You can click on it, then click on free download. And once it get downloaded, you have to go with the basic installation steps. And then finally, you will be getting this kind of dashboard. Now here again, you have to look for the Roblox. You can also click on the search and type Roblox. Once you get it, just click on it. Then you have to click on force uninstall. Click on yes. Now it will be analyzing the associated file folder and the registry entry. So you will have to wait because it will be checking from all the location. And here it is. So make sure these all the options are being selected. Then click on remove. All right. So once it's been done, now you can close it. Again, bring up your browser with a Roblox website. Click download Windows app. Click on the setup file and the installation of the Roblox will be started. And now you can see the Roblox game is coming up for me. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Found this information useful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.